We're getting booched today, bro. Jumping straight into discussing what is going on in the world of Pokemon. Now, remember, oh. we're not breaking the news. We are just discussing, giving our thoughts. Real breaking news. This is what is going on. Get it? Real I, I see what you Real did there. Real breaking news. Ah, got I see what you did there. I wish I had a, a, a sound clap. Uh, sound clap? Oh, uh, we got Wow, great job. Yes, bravo. I Happy swear. Happy to be here. Stop it. That's <laughs> we not. Still, oh we God. still got Robot Hello. Danny uh, here on the podcast. So I, I love it. Um, so, yeah, I let's love uh, it. Let's let's jump into this uh, this first thing here, which is it got some really really interesting packaging for a Pokemon card product. We are talking about the Marnie Premium Collection box. The images yes. of the item itself have it now dropped. You can head over to uh, PokeBeach.com and check out those images. Um, but 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 thoughts on this? It looks like a uh, and Jordan, you said this earlier. It looks like a little um, box of, of cookies. Yeah, like a like Mrs. Fields or something yeah, like that. Color Milano yeah. cookie, Marnie. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a nice little cute little <laughs> I like box. That. Okay. Yeah, cute little Milano box. Milano Marnie. Um, <laughs> and it, this this gives me hope that we're gonna see the other two um, make their way here eventually uh, from from Japan that were similar to this Marnie one that had uh, a cool, you know, uh, full art card and then the uh, the uh, signature card. So I do think we're mm -hmm. gonna get those in these these little form packages here. Is it something they're gonna like do a lot more often? Maybe if it, they're popular enough, because they're kind of cool little signature is pretty, uh, pretty just a cool little uh, new thing, but at least for the three that they've made, I think we're gonna get all three here. You know what I what I am kind of interested in finding out here because I'm I'm looking at the images right now uh, on my phone. If you're watching the video version here on uh, on YouTube.com/slash Shadowless Podcast. Subtle um, But the Marnie, just like you mentioned, does have Marnie's autograph on it in quotations. Autograph. Now, who wrote this autograph is what I want to know. Is the illustrator of this card? Did they write the autograph? Or is this just some random person that wrote the autograph? Because I'd be really Ooh. interested to know that. Um, that is a good question. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how Pokemon would go about that. You know, because it's such a random. Uh, they have to create the signature. Someone has to create this character's signature. So right. Hmm. So I don't know if Pokemon I'm, I'm would really to care too much to like. Yeah, oh, yeah. The artist can do it. You know, I, I feel like they'd be pretty loose with that. But it also. Because it's, like, it's not, like, something that's super important that we're going to probably see, like, oh, now it's canon that in the Pokemon anime, if Marnie shows up, that she has to sign her autograph this way, which we'll probably never see her sign an autograph in the anime and cut to me being wrong in six months when that actually happens. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't know. That is a good question. I guess probably the Pokemon company is just like, yeah, that's fine. Here's a design. Put this on Somebody's a card. Somebody's kid. The president's kid or something signed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because isn't Marnie's, like, the most different from all of the other ones? Like, it's just, like, a... It's more. Uh, let me see. I'll pull, pull it back up real quick. It's sick. It's so cool. It looks like. I mean, it's it's supposed to be like a face, right? Yeah. It's so cute, but I don't yeah. know what it's supposed to be besides like it says I like, if it's letters, it's like X X V a backwards R and an upside down Y. Like, what is that supposed to be? Is I'm it just sure. the face? I it kind of looks like a smile. Like yeah, like a smiley face. Cause it's I I don't know if they're characters to like actually say something or or not. But it's definitely cool. I do like it's all the so signatures. Cute. If you look at all theirs, they're kind of they actually do have their own little bit of uniqueness. Hers is obviously like the thickest, boldest one. Um, but like they're just they're just all insanely insanely detailed. Like they just look really cool. Plus the alternate art cards are are gonna be great to finally have. Um, I also would like to have seen you know because like they're gonna be their. Um, like those are like the deck box basically that they come mm -hmm. in that's like the full art picture but like aside from getting like you know Marnie and the the jersey on the uh on the full art card that we didn't get here uh mm -hmm. it'd be cool to see the other two like at least have like the art that's on that box I think that's really good art that are on the box like yeah the, 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 the hop of one yeah the hop one is crazy he's like studying or something reading yeah. a book Sonia's there Juniper's oh yeah yeah, yeah. Sonia's in the back yeah. hanging out Bead is just you know do you think taking his new uniform make make the rest of them because i feel like marnie is like that's very um there's a big market 
uh, for for Marnie collectibles, and I I just don't see them releasing the other two. I, I want to give hope that they will, just because I think those are some significant characters that they can make cool alternate cards, art, alternate arts that we haven't seen, and make like a cool thing for them. Um, uh-huh. Like it does make sense if they only did Marnie, but I'm still feeling. If they're gonna do one of the three, and they're gonna make this new style of packaging, I don't know if this. It just seems too nicely put together for it to be a one package event. Like here's a Marnie thing, mm-hmm. we're done. You know, um, I could totally see it just being that though. They could easily be like, all right, Marnie, you're good. All right, see you later. But it'd be nice to see how I think it's just Marnie. Well. Yeah, I think I, it's just gonna be Marnie. You know, the other two wouldn't sell as well, unfortunately. Yeah, but I'd also. Buy them. Those other two, like the artworks, I'm not even sure you would... I mean, we would, obviously, because we're Pokemon fans. I'm not sure you would distinctly identify those as Pokemon products, aside from, mm-hmm. like, the Pokemon logo on the, the top of the, the box, like, the very top. Yeah. Because uh, that could be any, like, any character from, yeah, some kind of anime-looking sure. card game. And it's So, $40 is the retail price of this, and you're going to get sleeves inside of it. You're going to get seven booster packs. You get the coin. You get both of those those promos inside of it as well. And honestly, that's a pretty good deal for $40. Seven booster packs, sleeves. It's almost like an elite trainer box situation. All the extras do make it worth it, for sure. I wonder what the quality is going to be on the deck box. Do we do yeah. we know? Is it going to be it's, like a well, little paper, you know, like hard cardboard, or is it going to be a plastic, nice plastic one? I don't think it's going to be full plastic. I think it's the cardboard. So you know, yeah. like when you would buy a a, a theme deck, mm-hmm. and it would have the the deck, and that just like yep. regular card. I think that's what but it you is. You can't even put like I a, think a you're fully exactly sleeve right. deck in. Yeah, I I mean, I could be wrong. The art wrong is so this. cool that it deserves, uh, you know, a sturdy plastic case. Absolutely. Absolutely, mm-hmm. it does. And, and the nice thing about this is they're going to be in display boxes. So when they put them on shelves, they'll be in display boxes. And it looks like the display box holds four of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so that'll be that'll be really interesting. This could this could be a good idea uh, to see how well this works of possibly kind of redoing some other packaging. Uh, mm. Of other types of things down the road, so like that's true. I, I, you know, and I, I, this might be this might be going on a limb to say this, but what about a possible redesign of elite trainer boxes? Now I know a lot of people might not like that oh. because people people like collecting them; they like them all looking the same. But at the same time, it might be time to to switch things up a little bit because those those elite trainer boxes take up a lot of shelf space see i was i was definitely on board with i think maybe they're cutting back on like um packaging for sure because you know it's up until recently uh, even still recently but like you know they use a lot of plastics and a lot of Mm -hmm. extras to make something like i know we're still seeing like the glaring rabbit ash box and we're gonna talk about some other boxes here later but in my eyes i was thinking that maybe they might be transitioning away from boxes and maybe doing smaller packaging so they can make more of them it's less cost effective the packaging's a lot it's less wasteful and they're too. more i think they also look good as a display piece as well if you kept one sealed it's a small little thing that has a nice uh picture to it because uh, boxes end up taking a lot of space we all know that yeah um so i i was thinking more along the lines of that but i i could easily see it being elite trainer box potential replacement or it could just be nothing and just be its own thing but um I, if we're going that route, I, I think it may replace certain boxes before an elite trainer box. I think the elite trainer boxes are very synonymous with uh, with Pokemon now, which is so weird to think because I remember there's a time when no one was like, I already have all this stuff in here. I have sleeves, I have counter pieces, and, and dice. yeah, it was like one of the last things that would stay. I mean, to be fair, everything kind of stayed on the shelf sure. years ago, so it didn't really sell out. But that was typically one of the last items somebody would want they they would kind of think why would i spend 40 dollars on this when i could just buy a couple extra booster packs yeah right um but now it's you know we've come to a new type of generation to where um people are more interested in having a sealed collection and Mm -hmm. elite trainer boxes are one of the most beautiful things 
for a sealed collection. So um, it's interesting because those are definitely the first to, to kind of fly off shelves now. Uh, even for like Battle Styles. I just saw a Battle Styles Elite Trainer Box actually in store on shelves just a couple weeks ago for the first time. So um, Yeah, I think they'll probably hold on to those for a while. But it's interesting because like, I feel like over the years, and we can all like relate to this like after you open like a couple of boxes at once and you have like several pieces of plastic like huge pieces of plastic and the cardboard and you're like this is like really wasteful like there's so much extra yeah. packaging that's around these cards for mm -hmm. like the actual product that's inside and it just feels kind of wasteful you're like walking out to the recycling with a big old box full of boxes <laughs> <laughs> you know you gotta you gotta think like were those designed at the time to catch people's attention and draw them to the Pokemon card section because they are very oh, like totally like very like nice display pieces for a store shelf. Mm -hmm. And you know, you might be walking by a target and you kind of go, Oh, what's that? Like that's really kind of eye catching. Oh, it's Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards are, are 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 still being made, you know, it might bring people back into it. But now obviously as we're seeing, cards don't last on the shelf that long, so is it necessary to have all that packaging? Right. What's What's interesting about the setup of this Marnie package, though, is that you actually can't tell that there's Pokemon packs, sealed packs inside. Yes, you're right. Absolutely. It's just, yeah, it's just, like, the card art or the box art or whatever on the but outside. But it also makes a nice, like, gift. If someone was going to get something for someone, it's a nice little package. It looks like a present. You open it up, it's mm -hmm. full of goodies. A goodie bag. You go to a party. Remember, remember going to birthday parties as a kid and you would also get a <laughs> yeah. gift because you'd get a the goodie bag? The party favors! The party favors! It kind of feels like a, uh, like a goodie bag. A $40 goodie bag, but yeah. a goodie bag with packs, Nonetheless. sleeves, yeah. deck box, you name it. A Lindor uh, truffle? So. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Do you get a Lindor truffle in there? A little, a little oh, Lindor gosh. truffle. Or, yeah. Or Milano cookies, either one. Oh yeah, nice mil Yeah. Um, it's cool. It's a nice little product. It's cute. I'll give you that. It's mm -hmm. cute. It's a nice little design. Um, I'll definitely, I'll definitely get one. And you for know, sure. I, I kind of, I'm curious to what those seven packs are going to be, because that's a lot mm -hmm. of packs for something that is not a main set you know so when we see elite trainer boxes battle styles you know every, every i think it's gonna be battle styles at that point chilling rain will or uh at actually at that point evolving skies will be out so august 6th i think because that'll be the seventh set the seventh uh, not including the holiday set and um you know shining uh fates It'll. I think it'll be everything from Sword and Shield up until Evolving Skies. It'll be Sword so and you Shield. So you one pack of everything. Yeah, I think that. I think Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, uh, Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, and Evolving Skies. I don't think it That's will be. That's interesting. I would love. <laughs> I would love, love for it to be that, but I. I don't think it is either. I think that's a fantastic idea. I mean, if, if there's going to be seven you know packs. God. It does say the premium tournament collection on the box. So that also leads you to believe that it's got like if if it did have one of everything yeah. where it's like this is all the cards that are playable, here's a sampler platter, like that would be sick. And I don't think yeah. it's tied in. I don't think they're tying this in to any 25th anniversary or holiday pack because even though like we can go back to like you know uh, Hidden Face which was released the same month as the set uh, that came out at that point, right? Um mm -hmm. And if maybe if they do release the holiday set or theme set early, it could be related to it and have you know that's one way to get those products. But I don't I don't I don't think it's I don't see it being labeled that way. And if it's a premium tournament, it, could, it can go either way. Honestly, it could be that it could be filled with eight Rebel Clash and one Evolving Skies. You know, it could be something random uh, like that. So what everyone asked for. <laughs> what everyone asked for was well, just what they just what they can't get rid of. They're like ah, we'll put a Steam Siege in there just to throw them off course. Um, but yeah, it's How a very. Would that uh, be? <laughs> if it was just like all a bunch of just like Steam Siege, Steam Siege couple Aww. fates collide. Some hey, you want to? Yeah, you want to break through? I'm gonna break. We'll toss you in a break point. You know, toss you. In uh, that's gonna be. That's gonna be funny. That's gonna be funny. Well, we'll we'll find out eventually. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, forty dollars, Marnie Premium Box. Seriously, seriously. 